the electronic structure of the first few elements. Atoms have two basic parts that are looked at in chemistry. They are the nucleus, which, like our sun, is at the centre of the solar system. And we have some electrons that orbit or move around like planets round the Sun. The nucleus is made up from two particles, protons and neutrons. The sum of these gives us the atomic mass of the atom. The electrons that circle around the nucleus are shown in this simple model as layers or shells and these relate to the periodic table as it's drawn. Electrons are really small compared to the protons and neutrons and have a very low mass but in this model they are the same size. This is a 2D shape trying to model a 3D object so we'll have to make some compromises. The simplest atom is that of hydrogen. In its common form it has one proton, which is the plus indicated here, and one electron circling in the inner layer known as the first shell. This we'll call a minus. In an atom the number of pluses and the number of minuses must be equal. The next atom up is helium. Its nucleus is more complex. It has two protons and these are held together by two neutrons. These are blank to represent the fact that they have no charge. This makes the nucleus more stable. Both the protons and the neutrons have a mass of one. So helium's relative atomic mass is 4. Because helium has two plus charges, it must have two negative charges to counteract and balance the atom. For GCSE, you have to learn all the elements up to calcium, which I've shown here on this periodic table. This is very easy because as you move along the row, or period, the protons increase by one. And as a rule of thumb, the atoms have approximately the same number of protons and neutrons within one or two in the nucleus. We've moved across the first row or period of the periodic table. The first layer or shell is now complete. When we start adding electrons now, we must start in the next layer. The next atom is lithium. Lithium has three protons, and it has four neutrons. Let's put these into the nucleus, and then we'll balance it. We put two electrons into the inner layer or shell and we put one into the next shell. We can arrange these electrons how we like but it's easier to count them if we arrange them sensibly. Lithium is in the second period. The next atom in our sequence is beryllium. Beryllium has an atomic number of four. This means four protons. It also has a relative atomic mass of nine, which means it's made up from four protons and some neutrons. So nine minus four gives us five, which is how many neutrons we must have. We'll put these into the nucleus. There are four protons, so we need four electrons to balance the atom. We place two in the first layer, the maximum that can go into this layer, and so the rest must go into the next layer. 
Now we have an idea how this works, we will jump across the periodic table to carbon. Carbon has an atomic mass of 6 and a relative atomic mass of 12. So 12 minus 6 gives us 6, which is how many neutrons we have. We'll put these into the nucleus. As there are six protons, we need six electrons to balance the atom. Two in the first layer, and one, two, three, four in the second layer. Now let's look at fluorine. Fluorine has an atomic number of nine, two, four, six, eight, nine, and it has an atomic mass of 18, so there are four, five, six, seven, eight, nine neutrons in the nucleus. And to balance the charge, we must have nine electrons. Two in the first layer, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, around the second layer. We pair them up, so it's easier to count. Finally, we have a look at neon. Neon is at the end of the period, meaning that its shell is complete, just like helium. Neon's atomic number is 10. Let's give it an extra proton and neutron. And it also has 10 electrons balancing out the positive charge. And they're all arranged neatly into pairs in their different shells. The maximum number of electrons in the outer shell is 8, meaning that we will have to start another layer if more electrons are added. As we go through the next period, we can only add another maximum of 8 electrons into this extra shell.